Our studio now is just the workroom side of a two-room apartment overlooking downtown from the Lower East Side. We first made paintings together in a converted livery stable in Bodega, and now redress our collaborative painting in this Houston Street studio. It's just a few hours away now, and I'm feeling that expectant thrill. Here comes the mixing, the brush changing, and growing the white grids into our best thoughts on what we see when we look out our studio window. Now this is fun, deep and true. Like many painters before us, we work from a study divided into equal squares. Through random tosses, we divided up all the squares so each of ours will be scattered throughout the whole painting. Back in the studio, with the music and the paint again, we're 15 years older than when we began painting like this, and remarkably more comfortable. We figured out all those sharing infractions that made our painting together in the beginning both a thrilling and nerve-wracking adventure. We were about five years into our collaborative painting before I could actually paint on the same canvas at the same time as Steve. Time's great, isn't it? Uh, don't get me wrong, when we first started out this session, I was still a little unsure, intimidated even, by all the years he has on me as a painter. Our job is to transfer the information on the study one grid square at a time. Each square of the study is a composition of color and shapes. It's like starting with the sheet music and getting carried away into some wild improvisation. It's a collaborative method that allows the differences in approach to color mixing and brushwork to create a dynamic image and harmonizes the tension between those differences. Lively more so than if either of us had painted the whole thing. 